color grading is the act of manipulating color subtly or dramatically, but in very specific ways. It's often done for mood. Let's take a look at an image. Here I have a fall photo, and I'm gonna click reset to take it back to the default starting point. You see it looks really flat, but by using color grading tools, we can fix this. Let's start with an auto adjustment, and that brought back a lot of the detail but the color just doesn't feel like fall. Well, what we're gonna do is start and do a few things. We'll apply the landscape profile here, and that'll help, and you see that it gets the tones back in the right direction. Now, let's come down to the color grading tools. To start, I'm gonna go into the shadows here and warm those up a little bit, pulling it in towards the reds and oranges. Let's adjust the luminance amount there and get a little better balance there so it's a slightly more aggressive on what's a shadow. I like that. Now let's go to the highlights here and push those just a touch bluer for that cool blue sky. And we could adjust that in. Once that's looking pretty good, I'll turn to the HSL tools. Using the on image tool here, it's very simple. I can click, for example, and bring up the luminance there of the yellows and oranges, and then go to the reds here and darken them. Put a little bit more saturation there into those reds and oranges. But then up here in the sky, pull it down in the blue. Notice by targeting the different areas here, we can easily control it more precisely. This allows us to shift the colors ever so subtly to emphasize certain areas. Now, if you look at those colors, they've really gone a long way. Let's toggle off the color grading and HSL tools, and you'll see what a good job they're doing. Look at the warmth and look at the mood. We really brought out those fall colors and put some interest in there. Once it's looking pretty good, don't be afraid to look at clarity and texture. That's gonna improve your selective contrast. And of course, you could play with your overall options there for contrast, exposure, and more. This is where some of the techniques you learned earlier, like a gradual adjustment, might come into play. I'm just gonna darken that sky down ever so slightly and just reduce the texture in the sky and roll that a little bit colder. There we go. Now I've got the type of changes I wanted and I was able to manipulate the image to bring out the desired mood or tone. Color grading is often a final step, something you do as you get towards the end of editing. But as you adjust things, you may realize that you need to go back and make a few finessing adjustments. So as you grade, be prepared for a little bit of pushing and pulling as you massage the photo into its final state.